welcome back to the Sims 4 Not So Very Legacy Challenge, the Rose Generation. I apologize that this video was not up on Thursday, so I hope you guys don't mind the double uploads for today. Generations will be up a little later, uh, probably this afternoon, I'm thinking. I've already recorded it, but I just have to like get this edited and all that good stuff. But uh, yeah, so... I, the reason, basically the reason that this wasn't up on Thursday is I actually just got a webcam in case you guys were not aware if you don't follow me on Twitter. I'm super, super excited to start implementing face cam on my streams. I, I'm probably not going to implement face cam on my regular videos that go up on YouTube, mainly because I typically record at like two in the morning and I look like crap and the lighting is horrendous and I just don't, I don't personally, I don't, oh my god, I gotta speak. I don't personally like watching Sims videos, like regular YouTube Sims videos that have face cam. I feel like it takes away from the video, like you don't need it. So, I'm not going to be a hypocrite and do it. So that's just kind of how I feel. If you guys want to see face cam, definitely head over to my Twitch. The link is in the description of every video where I have been streaming a lot, actually. And honestly, I mainly don't stream The Sims. So if you're interested in seeing me play different games, go ahead and check that out as well as my follow my second, my secondary gaming channel down below in the description as well. But yeah, that's kind of what I've been doing. I've been getting it set up, figuring some stuff out for Twitch, and I just kind of didn't have time to record this and get it up on Thursday like I normally would have. So I apologize, guys. I just wanted to kind of let you know what's going on in my life in case you uh, don't follow me on uh, Twitter. So... I uh, realized that today is actually Jasper's birthday. I feel like I knew that, but I forgot to make notes of it in my phone, which I typically make notes of what is going to happen in subsequent parts of the series, just so I'm better at remembering things. But yeah, I guess I forgot about that. Oh, you have school, don't you? Yeah, go to school, kid. So it is his birthday today. So we're going to have something super low key. I still have the cake from Avalon's birthday, which I know is kind of messed up, but we're just going to age him up. Like I said, this is the Rose generation. So it's more about Willow and her baby. So we are going to just age him up and give him a little bit of a makeover and go on about our day. So I do want to continue working on, what's the matter? What's the matter? Oh, I forgot to ask you guys for puppy names. Dang it. Go ahead and leave some puppy names down below. I can't remember if I asked you guys or not, but uh, go ahead and leave some puppy names for Bubbles down below if you would like to rename Bubbles. I like the name Bubbles, but if you guys have better suggestions, power to you. So, oh God, our computer's broken. So... I do really want to work on our aspiration. In the last part, we were kind of getting close to Niall over here, which I, I can't remember if we kissed him or not because it says we need to kiss Tem Sims. I don't remember if he was a Sim that we had kissed. So we'll definitely have to invite him over and figure that out. Also, we need to have another strong romantic relationship with one more Sim as well as kiss a crap ton of Sims. And um, yeah, we need to do that and get to level six of charisma, which is not going to be hard whatsoever. So we do need to kind of get that going. So we'll go ahead and maybe invite him over and see if I've already kissed him. Like I said, I can't remember. So we're just going to see how it goes. How are you doing, Safi? Safi is down here just playing with her little blocks. She's having a good old time. She woke up at like six this morning and has been playing with the blocks ever since. So clearly she's having a good day. Let's uh, go ahead and see. Oh, here he comes. Cool, cool. He is on his way over. We're just gonna literally like greet him and then like make out with him a little and see if it uh, see if it counts. If not, we need to invite over the other girl. I think it was Brinley. I think it was Brinley. Uh, let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Offer Rose kiss. Oh, I guess we have kissed him before. But uh, let's just see real quickly if his is the one that we need or not. Which I don't think it is. Okay, so it's Brinley that we need to kiss. Okay, well, uh, bye. <laughs> Thanks for the little makeout session. Oh, we're going to go ahead and send Avalon off to work. Oh my god, we have so much money. I do actually want to look to get these guys a new house. Not necessarily a bigger house, but just a different one. It's, wait, I can't... Hmm, send a flirty text, chat with her. I can't invite her over? Is she nearby or something? I don't see her little blue hair. Ah, uh, Brinley, where are you? It says, it's acting like you're nearby, possibly, so. Maybe not. Maybe she's not. Let me see. Or she might be at work. Let's send her a flirty text and see if maybe she wants to hang out somewhere. Oh, God. 
Did you guys see that? That was a glitch and a half. See what she has to say. You're gonna text this back. I guess she's at work. Which is fine. I mean, it's a Friday. People work. <laughs> Not a big deal. So we do need to kind of look to see who we're gonna go after next. Um, let's see. We can go after Miracle. Ooh, we can go over to, after this guy, Everett. Do you want to maybe come over and spend some time with me? See what he has to say. We should probably actually go ahead and change our clothes, too. Let's put on this cute little dress and look really pretty for him. She looks so cute. Oh, our parents are up, apparently. Are you coming over? There he is. Perfect. Lacey's spirit is fading away. I don't know who Lacey is, so um, doesn't really bother me all that much. Let's go ahead and ask him to cloud gaze. That'll be the easiest way to get our relationship up a little faster with him. And then once um, once Jasper gets home from school, we'll just go ahead and age him up. So hopefully nobody eats the cake that's in the fridge, because I'll be very, very sad. Do you want to cloud gaze with me? Perfect. That'll be a great way for us to get our relationship up. Beautiful. Oh, look at you reaching your imagination skill, girl. I think Sappy had a couple days until she ages up, because I feel like she just aged up. Yeah, she has four days until she ages up. Not a huge deal. We still have a lot of time, and we do need to, again, get her to have a really, really good relationship with her grandparents. So what are we at thus far? So her relationship with Avalon definitely needs to improve. And Nicholas is actually home, so why don't we have him... No, he ate the cake. Oh, dang it. We'll go ahead and eat the cake. Then you can spend time with your grandbaby. Because, I mean, he's getting up there with age. I mean, he has time, but not a lot of time. Let me actually make sure I have the lifespan on normal. Because I changed it for something. Okay, it is. I changed it for something, and I don't know how long it was until I, re I realized I had changed it. So they probably need a couple of days added to their lives, but it's fine. I don't really care. All right, so get that relationship up, girl. Do all the cloud gazing. It's fine. Oh, my God, he's a teen. Oh, my God. Okay, no, no, no. Go home. Go home. Just kidding. Bye. Leave. Oh, God, that's so awkward. Leave. Leave. Bye. Bye, bye, bye. I just realized that. Oh, that's awkward. No, that's so... Oh, what's this? Why do we have cheesecake? Clean that up. Why is that in there? Oh, that's so awkward. How did I not realize that? He looks like a man. He doesn't look like... He does not look like a teenager. Thank God I realized that before too late. <laughs> oh, that was awkward. Okay, let's see who else we have. Is Miracle a teen? Miracle's a teen as well. We really need to get to know some more adults. Skylar Prescott. I mean, hey, when he ages up, though, we'll be hopping on that. Micah. April. April's pretty. That's a teen. Oh, God. Hey, you got a promotion. Do you want to go to lunch? Are we hungry? Um, we're not really hungry, and we were waiting for our brother to get home, so maybe next time, boo-boo. Yeah, we really don't know a whole lot of people. Wolfgang, Stacy, Piper's pretty. I think she's a teen. Oh, she's a young adult. Okay, that's an option. Stewart is a teen. Oh, my God. Well, we did just recently age up, so I guess it makes sense. Oh, let's grab the mail, actually. You gonna come grab the mail, honey? Come get this. Where are you going? Are you hungry? Nope, you're actually doing really well. Oh, she's going to go to her granddad. Good. Oh, he's going to... What do we get out of here? Oh, we got some toys for our baby. Good. I'm actually going to go ahead and just sell that. We don't need it. Oh, she's getting sick. Sell that stuff. Yeah, we don't really need that stuff. Whose urn do you have? Oh, Jack. Okay, I was about to say. I don't know uh, whose she would have had. All right, do you want to come over here and spend some time with little miss? So why don't you get to know her? And let's see, brighten up her day. Oops, I didn't mean to click that. What else can we do? Pick up. Why don't you play with her? Go ahead and play with her. Yes, I know it is Jack's birthday. We will be aging him up shortly. We'll have to make a new cake, though. She's like, yes, I want to play. Oh, my goodness. I would love to play. She's so cute. So stinking cute. Oh. Having a good little conversation there, little miss. 
Let's go ahead and tell her a story. Hug her lovingly. Oh, this is so sweet. She's having a good old time. Aww. I'm gonna be sad when Nicholas and uh, Avalon die. Like, it's gonna be so sad. I know we have a lot of time with them, though. <gasps> what? Where? Where? For the love of God! <gasps> oh no! Oh, she's floating. So apparently, we just uh, we just. Uh... Oh my God, girl! You better extinguish yourself, please. So apparently, we set a fire because I guess the lint we didn't take out the lint in the dryer, and now she's uh she's on fire. So yeah, great. Yeah, we'll all discover the fire because she's on fire, girl. Why are you not extinguishing yourself? Oh my god, what are you? No, what are you doing? What's happening? Why can I not put her out? Oh my god. Why can I not put her out? What is happening? Why can I not put her out? Is she not on fire? Oh, she's not on fire anymore. Okay. Whew, that scared me. God, that scared me. <laughs> Granddad to the rescue. That's so bad. That's so, so bad. Do you, uh, do you want to come take a shower, maybe? That would, uh... Probably be good for you. So let's go ahead and take a shower. <laughs> Where are you? Are you okay? You're okay. You actually need to go potty. Do you know how to go potty on your own just yet? You don't. How about you ask Granddad to potty train you? Ooh, yay! Jasper's home. Oh, at least he missed the uh, craziness of us being on fire. Almost uh, lost his sister, but it's it's fine. It's fine. We're fine. Go potty train her, and then we can go ahead and make. A cake. Oh, she's crying in the shower. Beautiful. Yeah, unfortunately, that cake got eaten. So, we are going to, oops, going to cook. Let's see. I have a level three cooking skill, kid. What am I going to be able to make you? Why don't we do a hamburger cake? We'll do that. We're going to be the best big sister ever. Make you a hamburger cake. And uh, let you age up into a very handsome teenage boy. Reach level three of motor. Giselle, how you became friends with Niall? He's pretty cool. Girl, leave me alone. <laughs> leave me alone. Let's get this cake going. And then I'll also go ahead and just give him a makeover on camera. It's not like a huge deal or anything. Did she just sneeze in there? Oh my god. Shows how much she loves her little brother. Girl, hurry up. You're taking so long. Oh no, you gotta go potty. Oh, okay. Hold on. Um, you can just go pee out. Well, actually, you can just pee anywhere. You can't really go down the stairs anyway. Pee wherever you want, little fella. You won't get in trouble, I promise. Come on. Oh my god, girl. You are a hot mess. Please make this cake already for your brother. Oh, she's super hungry, too. I swear, if she eats this cake, I'm gonna be bad. I'm gonna be so mad. Come on. Our mom's gonna miss it, but it's okay. <laughs> It's okay. Oh, God. So let's add... Oh, I can't add birthday candles? Why not? Where are you putting it? Put it right there. Okay. Add birthday candles. Yay! Jasper time! Oh, God. Time to blow out the candles and age on up. I love how he walks over so confident. Oh, look. Gracie wants to come over and see. Gracie, you're, you're kind of in the way, baby. <laughs> I love how her back legs are just like floating off the counter. Happy birthday! I love how she's not even looking. Oh, now she is. Okay. Are you the only one down here? Oh my gosh, she's the only one celebrating. <laughs> Jasper has aged up and he is lazy. Um, Why don't we do... I don't know what trait to give him, really. Let's do, let's do a loner. I feel like he'd probably be a little bit of a loner. And we'll do knowledge. Why don't we just do renaissance sim? That seems good. There we go. He is aged up into 18. Uh -huh. At least we got that. Ew, what's stinking? Is that the food that's stinking? 
Oh, don't eat that. Yeah, don't eat that. That's really gross. Don't don't eat that. Come take a piece of cake. Do you want a piece of cake oh. as well? Go ahead and take a piece. Don't eat that stinky food. Put that in there. There we go. And then we can go ahead and just hop into create a sim really quickly. Give him a little makeover and go on about our day. Hopefully now Brinley is off work so that we're able to get her to come over so we can give her a kiss. Dude, where are your eyebrows? They're like non-existent. Why are your eyebrows non-existent? You need thicker eyebrows. He just has a really big forehead. I mean, it's fine. I have a huge forehead, so it's totally fine. <laughs> Um, you need maybe thicker eyebrows. Yeah, we'll do thicker eyebrows. So for hair, I don't think you would have that long of hair. It's my opinion. And you need, did you have black hair before? I think you had black hair before, so. Let's see. Do that. That actually doesn't look too, too bad. He's got really small eyes. Not this one. No, I don't really like that. I need more, I need better male hair. If you guys have any, have any suggestions for good male hair, let me know. Cause uh, like CC hair. Cause I uh, I don't have very many that I actually like to use. Mm -mm. I have no idea what hair to give him. I can get one of these new ones. Oh goodness, he has like that Einstein hair. <laughs> um, let's see, we can do this one. That one's fine with the little ponytail. Oh, that's fine, he's got pretty eyes. Okay, so for your outfit, I really, I haven't been able to kind of figure out what his personality is, honestly. So, I don't really know 100% what to like dress him in. Let's see, we could do... Nah, that looks weird. How about a little... We can do a jacket, that's fine. And we we'll get some jeans on ya. Oh, if you want to keep those shoes, that's fine with me. And then for the rest, I think I'm just going to do styled looks for the rest. Because like I said, I, I don't really know what his... I can't really tell what his personality is. So, I mean, to be fair, I didn't spend a whole lot of time with him while he was a kid. Let's do some longer pants, that way it's not creepy, because there's a small child in the house. And last but not least, we'll do... We'll just do this one. Don't really care, because he's not the heir, I don't care. <laughs> that sounds awful, but it's kind of true. If you're not the heir, you're not important to me. <clears throat> like, once he ages up into an adult, we're totally moving him out like we did with Giselle. But until then, we uh, have to uh, hang out with him. So I was thinking as far as like a birthday present for him, I, I think I want to get him a, like one of the little rodents. So why don't we go upstairs and oh my god his room is so childish. <laughs> we have to like give his room a complete makeover. Because it's so childish and he's now a teenager so we can basically get rid of all of this stuff. We uh, don't need it anymore. I don't know what that was. Look at that. All the bunnies on the walls. The night light can go away as well. The bed can stay. I think the bed is fine. I think that's everything as far as like super baby like that was in his room. Perfect. Perfect. Uh, why don't we? Can I make this bigger? What well, looks stupid? No, I think that's fine. All right. We'll put his hamper over here. Can I not put the hamper over here? Really? Can I put it here? Okay, that's fine. So for his bedroom, we could go ahead and get him a desk. I think that would be nice. So we'll grab that. Let's see. I know we have a couple in here. Mm, that one looks too fancy. This one looks all right. Oh, he has like a chocolatey bed though. Is that too chocolatey? Nope, that fits. It's kind of fancy, but it's fine. And we'll grab a little desk chair for him. We'll get you a super cheap computer because you're just a teenager. You don't need anything too, too fancy. And then I want to buy, oh gosh, what is this under? I have no idea what this would be under. Oh, here they are. 
So we could do a hamster, a hedgehog, a rat, chipmunk, gerbil, a lemming, a bunny, a ferret, a guinea pig, a sugar glider, a chinchilla, a squirrel. Ooh, let's do a degu. I like degus. Let's do a degu. If you're wondering where I got all of the options, oh god, there's so much more on the walls I didn't even see. If you're wondering where I got all the options for all the additional critters, it's actually through a um, piece of CC. Oh my god, I can't even speak. Piece of CC slash a mod that was made, um, which is one honestly a fantastic mod, and we're super grateful to the person that made the mod because it gave us so many more options for critters. That's for sure. So we're gonna do the chocolatey color, chocolatey wood. We'll do the wood for this as well. Um, I kind of want to move. Let me think. I move that closer and put that. Oh, I can put that there. Awesome. Can I scoot it up a smidge though? There we go. Okay, that works. What else should we? Actually, I kind of want to put a dog bed in here. Let's do a little dog bed, or a little pet bed, I should say. Maybe that color? That's fine. And I'm not too, too fussed about artwork, but I will put just something up on the wall, just to have something, you know? Oh, actually, I want to change the color of the walls. I feel like the light blue is a little too kitty. Uh, can I do a deep color? I like that deep color. The... That's nice. I kind of want a border. I think I want to do a border instead. That's fine. Okay. Do the border on his room wall. And then we'll get a piece of artwork to go. I guess we'll put it on this wall. Maybe just like a, um, a stencil or something. Nothing too crazy. Let's see. I mean, what would you even put over here? What is that? That's pretty. What is it? Birds? Oh yeah, that's really pretty. Let's do that. That's really, really pretty. I like that. I feel like he'd be an animal lover because now he has a little Degu. I think Degus are so cool. I don't know if I would ever have a Degu, but I think they're awesome little critters. So why don't you come over here and uh, feed your tree, fill food. Oh, okay. So you don't even have to fill food. Let's go ahead and give him a treat. Go ahead and give our little Degu a treat. Oh my god, look at him. He's so cute. Guys, look, we have a Degu! Oh, he's so cute! Oh, I love him already. Oh god, I just got into his face. Oh, look, he's so fat! Oh, I love you, little Degu! He's so chubby. I love chubby animals, in case you can't tell. I mean, if you've seen my dog, you'll know I like chubby animals. My dog's not that overweight. He is a Chihuahua Pomeranian mix that is about 16 pounds, I think. He should probably only be maybe 12 or 13 pounds. So he's not that overweight, but he, he a little chunk. Durfna. Oh. With me. <laughs> Yay. And hey, I'm, at least I'm using the new stuff pack in some way or another, right? Uh, let's go ahead and talk to him. Asking about his day. I feel like this rodent will be like his best friend. Does he have a name? What is your name, friend? I don't think he has a name. If you guys have any name suggestions for uh, our little Degu, if you want to name, if you want to leave him down below, you are more than welcome to. Don't know how much interaction we'll uh, have with this little critter, but uh, I think it'll be good. <laughs> uh, this is totally me. When I was younger, I was just in my room talking to my hamsters all day, every day. How are you doing? Ooh, can we invite over? Oops, Brinley now. Oh, we can. All right, she might. She's probably off work now. I just gotta kiss her. That's all I gotta do. Just gotta kiss her and get done. I just wanna do that before I end the part. Perfect. She'll be right on over. Hurry up, girls! So I can give you a kiss. Here she comes. Hello, Brinley. Where are you? Romance. Kiss. <clears throat> oh, she's so tired. Why are you so tired, Willow? Oh. There we go. Beautiful. And we got our second kiss down. I like it. I like it. Anger management. Uh, I'm just talking through with someone. There we go. But I'm going to have her eat because she's super tired. I don't know why she's not eating her cake. 
She's super tired as well, so we're just going to probably go to bed kind of early today. But I'm going to go ahead and wrap up this part here, guys. I really hope you all enjoyed it. If you did, please give it a huge thumbs up. Leave all of your comments down below. Also, if you're new, please don't forget to subscribe. And I'll see you all next time.